what's up everyone welcome back to another gta online car review and in this video i'm gonna be reviewing the fathom fr36 so this car right here it is in uh, southern san andreas as you guys can probably see right here and it costs 1.6 million dollars and this car right here it is based on the infinity g35 so that's actually pretty nice uh i actually don't know if this car is I'm not sure if this car is highly requested from the community but I'm pretty sure this car is quite popular in the car community I think I'm not 100% sure but I've heard quite a lot about this car the Infinity G G35 but hey 1.6 million for an Infinity a 2000 what is it a 2007 it's a 2007 or 2005 Infinity and it costs 1.6 million I still don't know what Rockstar is thinking about um car pricing in this game it is insane but yeah here it is looking well it, it looks like a mpc car i wouldn't be surprised if this car right here will become an mpc car for gta 6 so uh let's check out the hood check out the engine take a look at the engine model it's a new car so the engine model is actually kind of i don't know it's it's all right i guess not the best right here we are in my agency ignore my agency it is a mess um i don't know why my nissan 4z performance is there i should probably move it somewhere else right armor maxed out 25 categories by the way brakes maxed out bumpers 14 options so we got uh primary uh we'll just paint it stock and then we have street bumper Street bumper with drift kit. Oh my goodness, we're option number four, and you already have some big canards. Well, those are pretty small canards, but that's pretty crazy actually. The splitter, tow hook, and everything. I mean, it is a drift kit to be fair. With the tuner bumper, tuner bumper with drift kit, race pack bumper, race pack bumper with drift kit, high vented bumper, high vented with drift kit. Flared bumper with drift kit as well Squ and squared opening bumper with uh, a drift kit option so every single bumper for this car has a drift kit option which is pretty cool i'm not gonna put that on actually it, it looks kind of crazy not not gonna lie but i'm gonna try to go for something simple you know nothing too crazy hmm I actually don't know. Hold on. <laughs> ah, yes. We're gonna take a while again. I kinda like this. Tuner bumper. No, I'm gonna just slap on some random upgrades. 17 rear bumper options. Painted stock. And then we got... Oh my goodness. That is a that is one big diffuser. So I got primary stock with diffuser. Cut out rear bumper. Oh, it kinda removes that thing. I don't know. And it also lowers down the license plate. Which actually looks alright, you know. I don't know. Something about it. So we have cut out with diffuser. Rear bumper with diffuser. Rear bumper with drift diffuser. Bumper with diffuser and vents. As you guys can see. And then we have vents with drift diffuser. Tuner rear bumper. Damn. Oh, oh wow. That actually looks... I actually don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, tuner bumper with diffuser. Flare bumper. Ooh, alright. Flirt bumper with diffuser, low and cut out. Oh, low and cut out actually looks pretty decent. And then we have uh, low and cut out with diffuser, low cut out bumper with vents, um, vented low cut out with diffuser. And yeah, that's all the rear bumpers. A lot of diffuser and drift kits that this, that this thing has. This thing has, has a lot of options with the diffuser and the drift kit. Right, I actually don't know what to go for. I'm really liking the cutout rear bumper. I don't know why. It's really like simple, you know? Nice and simple. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Go for this. Uh, engine, max that out. Exhaust. You got chrome long pipes. Oh wait. Oh, we're shooting up flames already. There you go. Much better. Right. So you got chrome long pipes. Titanium tip. Titanium tip big bores. Chrome big bores, titanium tip short pipes, carbon plated exhaust, angle, oh my goodness, angle blast pipes, straight blast pipes, wow, that is a lot of options. 
I'm um, just gonna go for chromic boards. There we go, looking nice. Uh, on to fenders. We can. Oh, we can remove the reflector. Hey, you know what? I like that. I mean, it's a small. It's very. It's a very small change, but hey, it, it makes a big difference for me. You know. So stop fenders. Reflector delete. Vented fenders. Swoop vent. Oh my goodness, that is one big vent for a fender there. Swoop vent fender. Tuner fenders. Tuner fenders with carbon insert. And tuner fenders with secondary insert. Um, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna go for the reflector delete. There we go. Moving on to the grill. Grill customization. That's actually pretty nice. So you got stock. You got blacked out stock grill. Chrome logo delete. Blacked out logo delete. Primary painted stock. Primary logo delete. Street grill surround. Oh, I like that. That's clean. And we have secondary street grill surround. Oh wow, okay. I'm like, ooh. I think I'm gonna just go for street grill surround for now. I might change the secondary. Um, uh, onto hoods, we got stock, which is nice and smooth. We got aftermarket, carbon aftermarket, angle vents, street hood, and tuner. A lot of crazy options for this car, I just realized. Uh, I'm just keep, I'm gonna keep the stock hood, you know. Stock hood's pretty nice. It's a nice and smooth hood. Uh, moving on to the lights, actually. Yeah, I'll change that, why not? Uh, on to livery, 70 liv 17 livery options. So I'm just scroll through them, you guys can take a look. Alright. Pretty cool, more, more racing liveries. A lot of racing liveries, oh my goodness! Wow, that is all racing liveries. Right, uh, I'm not gonna put on livery, keep it nice and clean. On to side mirrors, we got primary stock, race mirrors. And then we have tuner mirrors, ooh, tuner mirrors looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Ooh, I'm... Ooh, I, I like the carbon tuner mirrors, I'm gonna go for that. Uh, moving on to license plate, oh yeah, I forgot about this, E. colon sprug, <laughs> that's actually so cool. Uh, respray, I'll come back to that later actually. We have roll cage options. This has a lot of customizations. So of cage, padded cage with carbon seats. Yep, there we go. And padded cage with race seats. Padded cage with track. Um, and then we have padded with alternate uh, track seats. Padded with high track seats. Wow, alright. Um, ooh. Let's go for... Do I want a roll cage? You know what? Sure, why not? So, padded with alt track seats. There we go. Very nice. And now moving on to roof. 18 roof options! You got carbon, secondary, roof mount... Roof mounted spo... Oh yeah, there is a spoiler. Roof mounted spoiler. And then we have a roof scoop. Very cool. I'm not gonna put it on. We have roof scoop with spoiler, so... 2 in 1. And then we have street roof scoop. What's the difference with that? It's a very small difference, right? And then we have what else? We have street roof scoop with spoiler. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for roof. Well, for the roof, pretty nice. Let's go for carbon roof. On moving on to side skirts, seventeen options. We got flat. Ooh, flat skirt actually looks pretty nice. Uh, flat skirt. Carbon flat skirt, street. Ooh, street is pretty nice, but I think flat's better because it's uh, really smooth. You know, matches matches the, you know, matches the car. Uh, and then we got race tuner, race spec, flared, uh, arch extending skirts, drift skirt. Wow, right, that is a lot. I don't know, it might grow on me, move on to spoilers, 19 options. So we got ducktail trunk, molded trunk lip, ooh, that is actually nice. And then we have large trunk lip, this one's also like molded, molded in, very nice. Then we got fathom spoiler, low wing, raised wing, street wing, big wing, chassis, oh my god, <laughs> chassis mounted wing, wow. 
Right, I can already imagine all those insane drift builds for this car. Oh, chassis mounted spoiler and all the insane time attack builds. Molded trunk lip, I'm gonna go for that, that is very nice. Moving on to sun strips. Secondary, uh, painted sun strip, primary plastic, white fukuru uh, sun strip, black one, we got white. How do you say that? I don't know. White sun strip, black sun strip, white power metal sun strip, and black power metal sun strip. A lot of sun strips. Um, I think I'm gonna just go for plastic sun strip. There's no carbon, unfortunately. It's very sad. Uh, moving on to suspension. Ooh, this thing can be slammed to the ground. Look at the difference in stock and competition. Wow, right. Slap everything on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna choose the color and the rims. So yeah, this is my Infinity G35 build, and I like it. I'm very happy that I, I'm very happy that I went for the stock from bumper. It looks it looks much nicer now, in my opinion. Yeah, here it is. Looking good. Ooh. Ah, you know what? It sounds pretty decent now. It sounds pretty decent actually. This car actually looks very nice now. Very simple. But yeah, we're just gonna do our. This, I'm just gonna do what I usually do, which is test the car out at LSIA. Almost crashed there. Ooh, what the drift! Was that more of a drift or power slide? Oh, take a look at that. Even my seat is in is uh in frost white color now. Oh my bad, bro. <laughs> right. Um. Here we are at LSIA. I'm not expecting this thing to have a very high top speed, but hey, let's just test it out, you know, just for fun. Here we are, like, okay, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the interior. Interior is alright, nothing too special, actually, it looks alright, can't really see the speedometer. Why is it so dark? I can barely see, alright, okay. How fast are we going? I can barely even see. Is that 80? No, we're going 100! 110? Yo! Hold on! Yo! Brother, that was actually pretty quick! I was not expecting that at all. I, you guys can probably not see it in the video, but for me, I can kind of see the speedometer. Just barely, I can barely see it. But that looks like 120. Or like a hundred nineteen or eighteen. Well, let's try it again on the longest, uh, longer strip. Okay, this time I can barely even see the numbers. That looks like one hundred twenty, right? Or am I seeing things? Uh, yeah, looks about right. Okay, let's just say it almost goes 120, which is quite surprising. I was not expecting this car to go that fast. But yeah, there it is. Infinity G35 in... I almost said Gran Turismo. <laughs> uh, Infinity G35 in GTA 5 Online. Very, very nice. Uh, I, I, I'm actually very happy with how nice this car, with how nice this car looks now. It actually looks really good very clean build as you guys can see right here but that's pretty much it so if you guys enjoyed the video remember to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out